So today I am going to film a get ready day with me. So um, I just got out of the shower. I put um, some leave-in conditioner in my hair and some oil. So I'm gonna let that sit before I blow dry it to kind of give it some shine here at the bottom and some moisture since my ends are pretty dry. And then today I'm gonna be using my Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani, my favorite hands down um, cover up, not concealer, I always call this cover up, concealer of all time. I use the color 3.5, so it's a pretty light coverage, but you can totally build it up. Um, but when I'm not using my expensive Giorgio Armani one, I love to use the Maybelline Pro Glow. So this is much cheaper, um, but it is, it's a really good coverage. And I use number 203 Nude Beige, and it's up to 24 hour foundation. It doesn't crease. This is amazing. My makeup artist in Vegas, um, Danielle, used this on me. I'm like, oh my God, I need to get this. It's amazing. So I'm using a beauty blender to buff out my, um, my foundation here. And I'll kind of like speed up the video so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this the whole time because it's gonna be long if we do that. Um, but this is like the best my skin has looked um, since getting to, um, to Sweden. So before I got here, my skin looked pretty great. Not gonna lie, I was seeing my esthetician every month um, and I was getting my hydrafacials and I was really consistent with it all. And so I'm kind of, you know, sad that I can't see her. Um, but yeah, this is honestly the best it's kind of looked. I'm having a few breakouts right down here that are pretty painful. Um, my forehead is finally calming down, I feel like. That's a mole. This is a pimple. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just wish that my skin would cooperate here, but I'm hoping that it'll chill out soon. I'm gonna give it like three months to kind of calm down and hope for the best here before I make any crazy decisions about my skin. I don't wanna do Accutane. Um, I was on spironolactin for a little bit. I did it for six months. It was a game changer. It totally made my skin beautiful, but you have to be on birth control to be on spironolactin. So I can't be on that. And I'm trying to do it a natural way. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I use the color Fair Light Neutral in color 16N. And this is great coverage for my under eye circles. I get those pretty bad. So I like to go under the eyes here. And I'm gonna cover up these little areas with this. And then especially down here, I'm gonna need this a lot. And I try to just use it for whatever I need to cover up. Yes, I look like a crazy person. Um, so I always try to buff it out and then I try to blend up towards the eye. I don't know where I learned that. I wanna say it was Jaclyn Hill to buff in towards the corner of the eye. But when I was in high school, I used to, or college actually, like my first year of college, I used to be obsessed with Jaclyn Hill. So I used to watch her makeup videos like every single week and I would just, learn so much from her. I love all of her makeup stuff. She's a goddess. She's sent from heaven. I love watching her makeup videos. To this day, I still love her. Um, so I get a lot of tips and tricks from her. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna put music over this because I'm chatty today, I guess. But I was listening to the I Don't Get It podcast, so I thought I was gonna continue listening to that, but I'm just super, I feel like I'm super chatty. Um, today I'm going to the holiday Christmas party for the hockey team, which is exciting because we haven't done anything like as like a team because of COVID. Um, so I haven't met a ton of the girls. So today I'll get to meet them all at the hockey party. So I'm excited about that. I am the only girl on the team this year who is from the States. Everybody else is either Swedish or I think from Finland. So um, I met a few Swedish girls and everybody's been super sweet to me. They 
they like always apologize because they feel like they're not that good at English. They're like, I'm so sorry. Like if I don't talk to you, it's because you know, my English isn't that good and I'm embarrassed to speak it. So, but everybody's actually really good at speaking English. I think they're a lot better than they realize. So as you can see, I really take the time to blend this out, make sure everything's super um, blended and matches my neck. I don't want to look like that crazy person that doesn't know how to do their makeup. You just gotta, it takes time to find the right color for you, you know? Sometimes you have to mix the colors. This little guy is like, just to me. I know when I take my makeup off, it's gonna be ready to like be popped and I'm gonna wanna pop it, but we are not gonna pop it. This is not cute, y'all. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we can work some magic and cover it up. So now I am gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder. So I used to set my whole face with this. I don't do that so much anymore. I feel like it honestly makes me crease way more. So I just like to set my under eyes. And I'm gonna just go here, cover this up. Same down here. It's perfect. This will give me like a nice little contour too. I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil if I can find it. All right, here it is. Um, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz in the color Taupe. I've been using this for years. So this is gonna be really hard for me to do on looking through the camera. So I'm gonna try to show you guys Now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows too with the powder here. And I'll take the powder and I'll just go ahead and blend it out all over. And I go back through with my brush and fix the brows. Okay. So now I'm gonna contour, so I'll be using, wow, it's dirty, <laughs> my Tarte um, liquid, or Creamy Bronzer in the color Brazy. I saw that um, Champagne and Chanel used this, and so I'm like, okay, sold, done. Not usually, like, I've never really used Creamy Bronzer until recently, but I love it, because I feel like it really makes it more glowy versus matte. And I love a good glowy skin because I kind of naturally have pretty dry skin. So I like the more creamy bronzer look. And then I'm gonna go in with my Hula Benefit bronzer and really kind of make it a little more Board. So I kind of like in a pretty intense one versus like a chill one because I guess I'm just not chill. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with my or my Stilla um, Lilium convertible color cheek cream can use as on your lips too. So it's creamy, just like the bronzer. Um, and I just go. And I always like to go over it with another um, blush. This one's tart um, and it's called Listen. Now I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. Um, this is a beauty light wand, easy highlighter. So okay, it's like a liquid one. And I just use a little cause I'm gonna go over it again with another highlighter um, powder one. And then I like to use my finger to blend this one out just since it's liquid. Just like I said, it gives me that dewy look that I wanna achieve. 
So now I like to go over it with the Becca Cosmetics um, Shimmery Skin Perfector Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. My girl. Eyes. Time for eyeshadow. So I use the Tartlet Toasted Palette. Love this palette. It's so beautiful. The colors are insane. So I always start with a light base. So I always just go over the eyelid with the base. And then to blend it out, I always start with the lighter colors first. So I always start lighter and then I go darker and I really, really blend it out in a windshield wiper motion, circular motion. And I kind of just keep going and going until I'm satisfied and I push up towards the eyebrow. Now I'm gonna go in with a brush that has like not much mobility so I can go in with a dark one into the creases here. Go back with this brush and really just buff it all out. I really like to highlight underneath my brow. So I go in with a lighter color and I go right underneath the brow. And then in the corners here, I always like to do a goldish champagne color. Now I'm gonna do a winged liner. So to get the perfect winged liner, I always like to use a pencil first to draw out where I wanna go over with the liquid liner. So it doesn't have to be perfect but just so I can see where I wanna take my liquid liner. I like to use Tarte Man Eater. It's what I've been using for years now. It's my favorite liquid liner. I feel like I can get a really good line with this. So. And then I immediately go in with my mascara because my, I don't want my eyelashes to clump. that mascara that I got on my eyelid dry so that I can get it off next time. 